We'll see. We'll see. Blippo did look good in the other games he played too, so I'm not going to say, like, guaranteed Blippo's the answer, but we'll see. Welcome to Nova. Whippo is very feast or famine, but that's going to be a potential positive as well, right? His greediness and want for kills is also a positive for me. So, we'll see. I'm curious to see how it goes. It's also one of those things, like, at the end of the day, I like to pick people who I think are going to be fun to watch. Right? Because if I have a person on my team, I watch that game. Right? So, like, I know for a fact that it's going to be fun to watch Whippo. Regardless if he plays phenomenal or not, it's going to be fun. And that's what I care about. It's not for anything, really, so... Right? And I figured I wouldn't get the opportunity to take him at 2-3 or whatever it was I was at. So I took the opportunity at 1-6. Because I figured I could get somebody else that I liked at um, at the turn. After the turn, I should say. Regardless, I'm happy I got River so late because I think Dignitas will play through River a lot. It seemed to be that way at least yesterday. So there's a potential. Neo did not look as good as he has in previous games, in previous, you know, times of playing. There's been times where I've watched Neo and he looks phenomenal, and then last night it was kind of just like, what in the hell is he doing? So that's why, like, I didn't want to get stuck with Neo necessarily. But yeah, I just wanted a piece of TL, regardless, right? I definitely think last night, though, River was gapping Santorin in terms of, like, just being in the, be in the better places more frequently. So to me, that says that uh, River should be pretty good going forward. But we'll see, obviously. How long have I been watching League? Only for like two seasons. Two seasons, I think, is all it's been. So I started playing in a Fantasy LCS League with my uh, brother-in-law. Um, and uh, because of that, I started watching. Once I started watching, it just kind of became a habit. And then it's fun to just like follow things. I like watching esports in general, so it was kind of fun just to follow along. Um, and I've been a huge TL fan since, you know, I was... Uh, watching CSGO back in the day, so um, it was kind of an obvious choice for me to pick Team Liquid up as a as the team I support. And then from there, it's kind of been, you know, I hate to say like, the rest is history, but it's been now, I've been in uh, League now th a couple of times, in a, a couple of years in a row, and uh, we, we made three League leagues this year for my stream, so um, we'll have uh, probably a lot of LCS talk on, on stream and, and otherwise uh, going forward. But yeah, we'll kind of see. It's just been fun. It's been fun to do. Uh, fun to talk about on stream. I know it doesn't really bring me a lot of viewers necessarily, but it's been fun. I've had a good time with it. Uh, 
Uh, most people have played a lot of those games. No cap, they're just a lot of people's childhoods. Don't mean that in a negative way, again. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of how it fe I feel like that plays out. A lot of people grew up playing those games, not just us. Um, I played Call of Duty. Played Battlefield for a while. You don't gotta have one thing. I played Years of War for a long time. I played Halo for a long time. You don't gotta have one game. I always gotta tell people that. You don't gotta have one game that's all you play, right? Um, you can have multiple games you enjoy. And that's completely okay. Right? Completely okay to have multiple games you enjoy. I'll probably end up tightening either. Uh, I'm probably tightening Azora. If I look at the, the spells, tightening Azora probably is the best thing I can do. Because it will make me better on 13, which, I, which is, my, I guess, real weak wave. Love you. Alright, so we're going to only push one here. I think we're still going to leak some. Noreen leaked, that's good. Don't think we're getting Samo very much, but I think we're going to get him. I am holding, which is really big for us here. So I'm going to go for another upgraded angler here to get them both upgraded for wave 7. Alright, I want to have both of them up by wave 7 because that's going to be kind of an important uh, deciding point for my build. Um, if I can get a lot of those stacks there, I'm sitting in a really good spot. Right. And at this point, the Grarl is literally just a shifting mechanic. I probably wouldn't have held last if I didn't have the Grarl upgraded there. Um, it makes a big difference. Hey, thank you for the follow, Herb. Barry, maybe? Ereb? Barry backwards. Thanks for the follow, my man. Well, GG's, guys. We got all of our, um, you know, Dark Mage eventually. We've legitimately now got every single one of our L uh, our fantasy drafts done, which is huge. Um, that was a pain in the butt trying to get that all done, set up, etc. It's nice to have all those done. Um, at this point, I'm looking at if I can get another Yazora maybe out. If there's any leaks here, which it doesn't look like there will be. I appreciate it, my man. If you got any questions on YouTube content other and anything in between, let me know. I was glad to help out. my teammate leaks here, I'm happy. Yes. Right, it's a positive for me at this point. All 
Alright, I think he actually is leaking. He gets that one last one. Perfect. You'd love to see it. love to see it. Just give me them stacks. Aphma's doing a great job of just like hard pushing. We're going to be at almost 150 stacks by wave 9 right now. And we actually might be on track to hit 150 stacks by 9. Kind of see here. I'm gonna place a bunch of these because I feel like I'm really under in terms of value. But I've got three bounty hunters and two Grarls. Not great <laughs> in terms of my uh, value. No Noreen did king up. It's fake value, right? Yeah, exactly, Seto. It's fake value. I mean, it's not. I'm not. It's not wrong to say that either. Like, I have a bunch of value that really isn't that great. Maybe, you know, some of these units are maybe worth half of their, their you know, just straight gold value for this wave. Right? So it's like, I can't really say I have that much value here. Um, though I should be fine. I actually think I'm leaking my guy. Depending on aggro here. Stupid Bitcoin units. Oh. Real fake doors. Real fake units. What's my stat count now on that one? 147. Now, that would be really nice to get 150. But uh, I don't think it's going to be worth doing the shift for it or the, you know, the, the BS of getting it 150. Very nice. No sand. Oh my goodness. He's got the build. Sam does. It's 150 now, boys. We're good. almost two 150 stacks by nine finishing. That's actually kind of crazy. Uh, I would not recommend doing what I just did. I would have definitely, uh, I should have definitely upgraded here um, to the kingpin being 150 uh, without the kingpin being 150. It was kind of actually rather dumb of me to do such a thing. Um, or I don't upgrade it because if they would have sent me there any sizable amount um, of magic damage in general, I don't hold. King claws don't have enough sustain on their own. Classic do as I say, not as I do situation. Right. Streamer luck. Uh, oh, perfect actually that the King Claw is getting aggroed. Everything but the Kingpin got aggroed there basically. So huge. I still think I'm leaking the four eyes, but it could be worse.
Optimus at 23 workers because his guy has never stopped sending. And now I get to just full push. Next two waves. Still overvalued, dude. I'm gonna tighten this. I'm gonna sell this and use it to push. <laughs> Oh man, that's how far ahead we are, chat. I can just sell a unit and just push with it. In value right now. That's hilarious. <laughs> Seto, not very happy about that one, huh? Just late night things, man. This is actually hilarious that that worked. This should be a 150 stack after this wave as well. Which I should be able to upgrade it then. Mm, it's getting aggro here. Does it get 150? 144. 145, 146, 47. Come on! Stay with me! Stay with me! Alright, we're good. What's up, Seto? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Thank you, Popo, for the 667. Appreciate it, my man. The number was annoying me. Correct. Two full stack KPs. Without steeds. By 10. By right, 12, excuse me. Uh, actually, the end of 9. Uh, end of 11, I had them, so. I go 15 now. Can't even do that with Steed. Yikes, I'm sorry, man. By the way, 369. It's called just being a absolute legend. Alright, chat. I could be farther pushed to. I cut up an income, but obviously Offma has a lot more work or uh, Mythium stored. The honest to god only way to play anglers is by playing them super super passively like I did here. I don't think you can play them aggressively and, and actually expect to win sometimes. Still wave 13, yeah, exactly. I do have a King Claw though. King Claw is actually surprisingly good DPS on some of these waves. Like, don't don't shit on King Claw. You can see here, it's it's got good damage for its cost, especially combined with the fact that it has a slow as well built in. Uh, you need to be at least fifty or higher per per Kingpin to be above value, hundred percent. One ninety plus three fifty equals five forty, right? I'll have just enough after sending. Brain no work either today. Um, the Arc Terra with the extra health and Ocean Templar should be really good on fifteen. Going on future. How you doing? You got any questions about any content you see here? Let me know. Um, glad to help you out. You're good. Good to good, good. Good to hear. Or if you're saying I'm gold. Either way. Good to hear. Yeah, 
Gotta make the jokes, right? Lock and load. You're Goid? Yes. Oh yes. god. Yes. My chat's gonna... My chat's gonna start going on about how Goids aren't good. Um... Midas touch you. <laughs> really can't touch turns to gold. We thankfully already have Max King, basically. That's what I was saying. He either gold or good. I don't know which. She's <laughs> thinking I can sleep at 1 a.m. You have to be over in Germany or something. Um, so that's where the King Claws come in handy. Like, if you have multiple King Claws, Quint, um, that can be really nice for getting it up. Italy? There you go. I knew you were Central European or something of the sort. Does this have the healing and the damage reduction to hold here? This does not seem to be the case. Oh well. They both leaked hard. kills them pretty easily. I'm not going to say it early, but I'm going to say it. Victory. Mm. Alright, that was a good game. Alright, we'll, we'll put that as a potential option for an, uh, one of them for videos. Hey, have a nice night. Seto. Thanks for tuning in. That was an interesting um, kingpin game. That was a quick lobby. Uh oh. This can sometimes be bad. Shadow's already in a game. I'm not worried. Uh, 8 p.m. And hot pie. Interesting. Going on, Toxic? How you doing? Good to see ya. Smile. We should have redid it then, huh? Uh, GA on Hydra, it just respawns the Hydra at full health. Or at 1500 health. It doesn't respawn with the uh, little Hydra links as well. No problem. 